welcome everyone how are you all i hope you all are fine uh, so let's begin a new lesson today a life cycle of star and this is for class 8 part 1 video of this lesson and uh, in this video we shall study about the two properties of stars and properties of sun so let's see all right so student what is a galaxy so a galaxy is a huge collection of gases dust and billions of stars in their solar system and held together by a gravity okay so galaxy is a collection of these different different things and uh, which and these different things are held together by gravity so gravity is a force which uh, uh, force which held all the different objects towards itself or uh, it is a force of attraction okay so along said you can observe the uh, solar plan okay solar system and in solar system uh, galaxies there and uh, different planets are there different planetary systems are there so next question is what are the different constituents of our solar system so a student our solar system consists of our star the sun and everything bound uh, to it by a gravitational force and the planets mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune dwarf planets also are there and dwarf planets such as a pluto and dozens of moons are there and millions of asteroids comets and meteoroids are the there in our solar system so in downwards you can observe the uh, image of the different planets okay and sun all right now next question what are the major differences between a star and a planet so there are some differences between star and planet so in the left hand side you can observe the planet that is earth and uh, right hand side it is a stars so star are very big in size and massive relative to planet so as compared to the planet stars are very big in larger in size and second difference is star twinkle but planets do not uh, and third one stars are made up of a hydrogen helium and other light elements and planets are made up of a solid liquid or gaseous substances or a combination thereof so these are the major differences between a star and planet now what is a satellite so a satellite is an object in a space that orbits orbits mean it will uh, it will rotate around the planet okay in a circular orbit so a satellite is an object in a space that orbit orbits or circle around a bigger object or planet so there are two different kinds of a satellite one is a natural and second one is artificial and a student moon is a natural satellite of the planet earth so alongside you can observe the uh, planet okay blue colored planet or earth is there uh, and uh, you can observe the red color two different orbit are there okay so in uh, these orbit the satellite are revolving around the bigger object or the planet so these are the satellites and these are uh, the object which are revolving in a circular object these are the artificial object artificial satellites now next question which is a star nearest to us so uh, the nearest star to earth are in the alpha centauri triple star system about 4.37 light years away so here alongside you can observe the picture on the uh, earth okay black colored it is earth and alpha centauri b it is the nearest star to earth from the earth and sun is also there and next is galaxy all right so our student you have you have learned about the structure of the universe in earlier standard and our solar system is studied in a galaxy uh, a galaxy is a collection of billions of stars their planetary system so in galaxy different planetary systems are there um, and uh, billions of stars are present in interstellar clouds we, uh, which are present in the empty spaces between stars Uh, and the universe is made up of innumerable such galaxies and galaxies differ in structure and shape we can divide the them we can divide the galaxy into three main types first is elliptical and second is spiral and third one is irregular and student our our galaxy is a spiral in shape and it is called as a milky way and mandakini All right so student if we look at the sky at night we see only planet and stars then how did we get information about the other components of the universe so the answer to the question is 
telescope all right so several te telescopes are placed on the surface of the earth uh, while some others are kept aboard man made satellite which are orbiting the earth in a fixed orbit so um, uh, with the help of a telescope we can observe the planets and stars and we get the information about the different uh, uh, planet and stars and as these uh, telescope are situated above the earth's atmosphere they can observe astronomical object more effectively and astronomers study the observation made by all these telescopes that is natural um, sorry not natural uh, man made telescope uh, so astronomer studies the observation made by all these telescope to obtain detailed information about the universe and we are going to learn about all this in next standard and here let us uh, learn about properties of stars and their life cycle so student do you know our galaxy has about 10 or uh, 10 to the power 11 stars and its shape is like a disc shape with a bulge in the center and its diameter is about 10 10 to 18 kilometer and the solar system is situated at the distance of 2 multiplied by 10 raised to 17 kilometer from its center. So the distance between the center of the galaxy and solar system is very big, large. And the galaxy is rotating around an axis passing through the, its center and perpendicular to the disk. And its period of rotation is about 2 uh, into 10 raised to 8 years so the rotation uh, period of rotation is also very greater all right now let's study the properties of stars so student a star is a luminous ball of a gas mostly hydrogen and helium held together by its own gravity that means own gravity uh, own gravitational force of the star and at night we can see about 4000 stars with our naked eyes and sun is an uh, ordinary star among them and the reason to call the sun an uh, ordinary star is that even though it appears to be larger than all the other stars uh, in the sky because of its being nearest to us and uh, there are billions of stars which have higher or lower mass size and temperature than those of the sun and stars are uh, gigantic spheres of a hot gases that means it is a very massive sphere uh, in which the hot gases like hydrogen gases, helium gases and another gases are there in the stars. Alright, now let's study the property of a sun. So, so property of a sun. So, student here you can observe the, um, alongside the diagram you can observe the sun. Okay, uh, so in the center here helium bearing shell are there, shell is there, helium layer is there and hydrogen burning shell is there. Okay, so and carbon oxygen core is also present in the sun. So, student some properties of the sun are given in the table below we will see the table later and hydrogen makes up for 72 percent of the mass of the sun while helium is 26 percent and the rest two percent is made up of elements heavier than the helium so sun is nothing but a mixture of a uh, mostly helium and hydrogen gases and two percent rest of the gases are also there and here the table showing the properties of a sun so first um, the mass of a sun is 2 into 10 raised to 30 kg so it is also a very massive object and radius of the sun is 695700 kilometer and surface temperature is 58000 kelvin and uh, temperature at the center is 1.5 into 10 raised to 7 kelvin so the temperature is also very high because it contains uh, gases like hydrogen and helium and age of the sun is 4.5 into 10 raised to 9 years old. Alright, so these are the different properties. Okay, now the other properties of the sun. So the mass of the sun is about 3.3 lakh times uh, that of the earth and its radius is 100 times uh, that of the earth. So sun is greater than the earth. And the other stars have masses between 1 tenth that is a... Uh, one tenth mass of the sun that of the sun and hundred times that of the sun that is hundred times mass of the sun and their radii can be between one tenth to thousand times the radius of the sun now here the comparison of sizes of different stars like here we have the sun and uh, white dwarf planets and super giant star and red giant star so these are the different sizes of the different 
star and sun is also a star one of the star so the age of the sun and other stars which is time elapsed after their information can be between a few million years to a few billion years and if the properties of the sun had changed in its lifetime it would have caused changes in the properties of the earth and in the life on the earth and um, detailed studies of the properties of the earth have led scientists to conclude that the properties of the sun have remained unchanged over its lifetime they cannot be changed and that is the past 4.5 billion years the properties of the sun are same and according to the studies made by the astronomers these properties will slowly change in further after 4.5 billion years until now 4.5 billion years the properties are changed but they can the uh, properties are same but they can be slowly changed or gradual changes uh, can be seen after 4.5 billion years so student that's it for today's video i hope you all have understood and next part of this lesson we will continue in our next session let's say thank you